But yeah, let's get into the script because this is where it gets really fun. So my go-to opener is uh, one that you might have heard before, but it uses the warm and friendly tone. But there's one that you've never heard before that is mind-blowingly like breaking all the patterns. And it goes very, very differently, but you really dial it up on the warm and friendly. That one sounds like this. Will picks up, I go, Will? Yeah. <laughs> Will, Will Aiken, it is Ronen Hassar. Look, don't try to rack your brain. You don't know who I am. This is actually a cold call. Would it be an awful idea if I shared why I was reaching out to you today? No, Ronan, absolutely. You put a smile on my face. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. See what I did there? I used my tone to sound like no one Will has ever heard before on a cold call. But we're not done. That's just step one. You've now earned step two. And that takes us to the transition. There are two questions you must answer on every cold call. You will hear prospects, if you listen to call recordings, literally say these words. Who is this? What is this about? It's an obvious question when you think about the prospects world. They don't know the, the person calling them. They might have kids. They don't know if it's the doctor. They don't know if it's their kid's school. They just, the unknown number they're answering. Maybe they're waiting for a call back from somebody. So they see an unknown number, they answer, and they're immediately a little bit panicked. Who is this? What is it about? I don't get calls in the middle of the day unless it's urgent. Answer those two questions with the second piece. That's the transition. It sounds something like Ronan Pessar here from RP Advisory. This is actually a cold call. And now I'm going to move into, so I just told him who I was. And I'm about to tell him what it's about by transitioning into my probing question. Hey, you know, I see here on LinkedIn, you've got a team of about 15, 20 SDRs here. Out of curiosity, when it comes to cold calling, is your team already able to book at least a meeting a day per rep from the phones? Uh, no, none of them are. Uh, but maybe if they were attending this sell better webinar, they would be. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I hear that a lot. And I'm not I'm not trying to call your your sales enablement guy, you know, dumb or anything. <laughs> but really what I reason for my call and um actually while I was reaching out to you today was to see if you've ever considered a different kind of cold call methodology. One that guarantees more laughter, more meetings, and ultimately more consistency so that you can have more predictable pipeline when your team's cold calling. Anything like that on your radar? Uh, no, tell me more. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That was actually the reason for my call, Will. Would it be a terrible idea if we found 30 minutes when I wasn't cold calling you in the middle of the day? I actually got to go in a minute over to a client here. Um, any chance we could chat Monday afternoon or Tuesday morning? Um, Yeah, but look, Rona, sounds great. You seem like a nice guy. I don't want to waste your time right now. We're like hiring, spend free. So I, I don't think we, even if it were amazing, I don't think we could afford to bring in someone else right now. I totally get that. All right, we're about to move into objections. Nice, Will. Good transition. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's kind of what I was thinking. Um, let's let's stop there though, because I know we have got a couple of questions. That was awesome uh, to see that delivered in, in in all in all in one part. This is exactly what people need and want to hear. 